New research suggests that a superbug linked to the chicken we eat could be worsening or even causing bladder infections. ABC's Jim Avila has the results of a joint investigation by the ABC News and the Food and Environment Reporting Network. The bathroom. It could be called America's most persistent pain. Are you having these symptoms right now? Yes. You again? Eight million women, including 29-year-old Adrian LeBeau, suffer from bladder infections. It feels like I have some type of infection that just won't go away. Infections that now occur more often and last longer, because according to a growing number of medical researchers worldwide, superbugs, resistant to antibiotics and growing in America's favorite food, chicken, are being transmitted to humans in the form of E. coli. We're finding the same or related E. coli in human infections and in retail meat sources, specifically chicken. If the researchers are right, what's new here is this is compelling evidence of a direct link between the pervasive, difficult-to-cure human disease and the antibiotic-fed chicken we buy at the grocery store. What this new research shows is that we may in fact know where it's coming from. It may be coming from antibiotic use in agriculture. The FDA says 80% of all antibiotics sold in the United States are fed to livestock, even healthy chickens, to protect them from disease in cramped quarters and to help them grow bigger, faster. We're particularly interested in chickens. They, in many cases, are getting drugs from the time they were in an egg. The chicken industry says there could be other factors, overuse of antibiotics by humans, and no study has proven that a superbug from poultry transfers directly to a human. But researchers point out a study like that cannot be done. It's unethical. And there is persuasive evidence, they say, that chicken carries bacteria with the highest levels of resistance to medicine. Did you think, I'll go to the doctor and it'll be cured? Yes, I did. Yeah, and I did. And what did you find out? Oh, it was cured for a little while and then it comes back with a vengeance. The epidemic of urinary infections in this country is not only painful, painful for millions of women, it is expensive. The cost of treatment, because not just one course of antibiotics works anymore, has risen to more than a billion dollars a year.